Take care, Herr Yoder. First few hills I can handle. On your left. It's been a beautiful ride. In October of 2023, I rode my bicycle across the state of Ohio along the Ohio to Erie Trail, or OTET. The first four days of my trip took me from Cincinnati to Columbus and on to the Bridge of Dreams in Amish country. I have only two more days of my trip remaining to make it the rest of the way to Cleveland and finally dip my front tire in Lake Erie on the far side. The rain's been constant, but fortunately I will have a chance to dry off a bit if I make it to Akron as planned. This morning I have to deal with this gear explosion. <laughs> I got everything stretched out underneath the roof here, hoping that it would dry. It's kind of damp. Better than I suppose being soaking, but wow. There's just stuff everywhere. Hello, Kua. Okay. Hello, hello. So I just stopped a little bit off the trail in Holmesville, not very far. A place called the Blue Moon Bistro. They had delicious food, cheese curds, and I had a burger with barbecue sauce. You gotta keep fueling going when you're cycling. And while I was waiting for a table, I happened to start up a conversation with an Amish man who was there. Uh, we had an absolutely lovely chat. And as we were leaving, uh, you know, we wished each other blessings and... <laughs> well, we had our meal and ready to move on. That's it. <laughs> That's it exactly. <laughs> he uh, took his horse cart the other direction that I had come and I'm now going this way. But uh, Harry Oder, you were one of the highlights of the trip for me. I'm glad to have met you. First few hills I could handle. They kept coming. Hopefully this is the, the peak of the hills. Although I'm feeling some raindrops, so maybe when I get to the top here, I should recover everything for rain. Rain and dirt, but at least it's mostly, mostly solid. So for whatever reason, the GoPro has failed. I tried to record several things, but it looks like it hasn't actually worked since the rainstorm. The rains have stopped though, and the sun's out. 
and even on the towpath trail which is kind of a gravel mixture I gotta say it's times like this that remind me why I like cycle touring bike backing so much being able to just see the beauty out here to be moving through it slowly enough to appreciate it and quickly enough to see it, multiple things as the day goes on. <sighs> the old canal is so still and so pretty despite the algae and clover and things growing on the surface of it. And even though I know it's a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other insects, it has a beauty. Recognizing that this, this canal was the lifeblood of Ohio. Bringing goods and people from Lake Erie down to the Ohio River and through that to the Mississippi and onward. The piece of history that I'm riding beside today. So I'm here at a lock on the Ohio and Erie Canal, <laughs> Lock 4 at Canal Fulton. Ah, it's amazing to see this functionality, to see how this was all put together. This was the way that up and down uh, the canal ship would go in, the water level would be raised, the gates would open, and the ship, well, the barge, would be able to continue on down the canal, often being pulled by the, something on the towpath, probably a donkey or a mule. It's incredible that they preserved even the, the house here and, you know, to see all of the, the lock together in this way. Incredible engineering in the 1700s to be able to put this all together. So I need to correct myself. I said 1700s. This was 1800s technology. 1835 is when they began the project here. But uh, the technology existed in the 1700s. It just wasn't started here in uh, Ohio. But uh, it's neat to see it whenever it was, recognize that this was how goods were transported back then. bike in the minivan took me to my cousin's house. So good to be able to stay last night. And now I'm getting back on the trail. Good morning, friend humans. Lucas Levy Keppel here, starting out on the last day of my adventure. That's right, this is day six. I'm heading from Akron up to Cleveland. It's gray, but it's good to be back heading out again. I had a wonderful night's stay with my cousin Eleni, her husband Justin, and their daughter Sophia. It was so good to see them and to spend time in Kent, which is a place in Ohio I'd never been before. But now we're back underway as we head north towards Lake Erie. Should be about 40 miles today. Uh, the GoPro has been fixed, so I'm grateful to be able to record again. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more stable footage today. Yeah, it is a good day.
Okay, I guess I gotta follow the loop this way too, so. Sorry. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> I had no idea there was a thing going on today. <laughs> oh. On your left. Sorry. Thank you. After getting caught up in that run, it's kind of nice to have the trail to myself again. There are a lot of people out there. Yeah, that said 5%, this says 2%. Maybe it's only over portions of it. Man, I am glad to not be riding up this, but I'm worried about what I'm gonna face on the other side. That was quite a bit of descent. Ooh, but a covered bridge is fun. And we're still descending. What? No wonder they needed locks to get through this. What's that? What happened to the rest of your crew? It's just me? Oh, I thought I saw you with a bunch of them. No. Thank you kindly. just entering Cleveland's outskirts. It's hard to believe that this is coming to a conclusion. Six days I've been riding across Ohio and shortly I'm going to be dipping my front wheel in Lake Erie symbolizing the end of this journey. It's been a beautiful ride Met some wonderful people along the way. I can't believe it's almost over.
is turning instead of drawing, but hey, whatever works. End of the line, I've got the bike loaded into this rental car and take me back to Cincinnati where I'm going to change over to the actual car that I'm going to be driving back to Tulsa. I am still in shock that 326 miles plus later and uh, I've reached it. I've done it. I've gone from the Ohio River to the Erie to the Lake Erie. Uh, there's got to be a better way to say that. But taking the Ohio to Erie Trail has been amazing. Um, it's been a little chilly. It's been a lot of beautiful colors. And I've met some absolutely wonderful people out here, as well as getting to reconnect with family. So I'm so glad to have been able to take this trip. And uh, I look forward to continuing on with further adventures. Now, if you liked this and you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to watch my Katie Trail video. Uh, there will be a link probably there, I think is where that goes. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much, friend humans, for coming along on this journey with me.